Push for a huge Hollywood-esque Gosford sign in the city has received the backing of the local mayor. The idea was the brainchild of a local comedian who's on a mission to boost tourism in his hometown. Once upon a time, this little town, 70 odd k's north of Sydney, was officially called Point Frederick. But some governor, way back when, put the kibosh on that and it became Gosford. Now some comedian wants that very name to rise above the region and stand tall hillside. So we need a, a big welcome to Gosford thing. Um, so a Hollywood-esque Gosford sign up on the back of the hill. The Gosford hospital born Mitch Garling is the brains behind the proposal. He's been places, he's seen things too. But it's Gosford right here that he thinks deserves a special TLC. I think it's going to bring tourism. Um, people want to come and see the Gosford sign. Like, uh, yeah, kind of like your yeah, Hollywood sign. People flock to it. They climb it. They probably shouldn't. But, yeah, that's what, that's what I want. I want people to come to Gosford. And who better to call upon to raise Gosford out of the rubble than the coast's unofficial mayor himself? Yes, we just need to get someone to back this. Uh, like, Singo. Not, not Singo's mates. Like, John Singleton. Uh, advertising guru. We just need to get him, get him behind it. As for the real mayor, she totally digs the concept. Ah, oh, well, we welcome all ideas. We're open to all suggestions. Mayor Smith is so down with the plan, she's got her own big take on it all. I think we're really lucky to have Usain Bolt, so there might be an opportunity to put a lightning bolt somewhere, which would be a great idea. And if Singo can't cough up the cash, no worries, hey? There's always another way around here in God's country. Like, if we don't have the budget to spell Gosford, like, if we don't have enough for all the letters, just Gossy. That'll do. <laughs> Sarah Elmasilli, NBN News. There was a delicate operation overnight to reflect a catamaran beached at the entrance north. The vessel had become a local tourist attraction since the skipper beached her over the weekend due to a medical emergency. The Gosford Primary School Band has returned from Penrith victorious for the third year in a row. The under 13's music students won the New South Wales Band Championships again this year, defeating some big name Sydney schools to claim the state title. <laughs> Reading music from as young as seven years old. 
We have a lot of parents that come to our school, prospective families, that mention the band program. And we have over, I think it's 119, 120 kids participate in one of the three bands that we have in the school. Sarah Elmasella.